Okay, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kal Halalim, La Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashayah, Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha Racha Kodash. Double honor, certainly due to the apostles of Great Millstone, who labor in this word and doctrine and are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. Enough respect, peace, and blessings to your brothers out there pushing this word throughout the four corners of the world. And to you few sisters who are trying to do the right thing, to you I say Shalom. And Adawan uh, Ratazar Salakia, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So the topic of this lesson is fear the Lord. Okay. Having a healthy fear of the Lord. Alright, so I'm going to focus on these two precepts in the book of Sirach, aka the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 1. So Sirach chapter 1 verse 20, the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and the branches thereof are long life, right? And you know, the main part of, you know, fearing the Lord is getting into these scriptures, learning who the Lord is. Okay, you know, as the scriptures say, it's the root of wisdom to fear the Lord. Alright, I want to get another precept straight away because it came to my mind. This is Psalms 111, verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His prayers endure forever. Right? Following his commandments, his statutes. Alright, his law, statutes and commandments. Okay. Right, and another characteristic that the Lord has is on uh, omnipotency okay you know which is all powerful in fact let's get that right now <clears throat> so this is a uh, omnipotent from online etymology dictionary you know, sorry for the noise in the background <laughs> and it comes from uh, early 14th century almighty possessing infinite power from all French, omnipotent, almighty, all powerful, and directly from Latin, omnipotentum, all powerful, almighty. Okay, so you get the point. Omni, all, potent, powerful. Originally of a god or a deity, generally, or general sense of having absolute power or authority. Alright, you know, that's, that's what the Lord possesses. Alright, you know, and you know, learning of his ways through the scriptures, you begin to learn and know how powerful the Lord is. You know, you learn how merciful he is. But also the balance to it is how gruesome he can be with his judgments. And again, you learn that through the scriptures. Okay. This is a uh, Luke. You know chapter 14 verse 11 you know you see a lot of you know our people the majority of our people okay um you know getting judged you know in in gruesome ways you know because they don't fear the lord ultimately you even see that you know amongst you know our people even those who know that they're israelites in the nation of israel this is luke Chapter 14, verse 11. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humble, humbleth himself shall be exalted. Right? You know, and pride, that's the root of, you know, self exaltment, if that's, a, if that's a word. You know, it's that pride, you know, that blinds people, you know, to, <laughs> you know, do as they please. Because. They know, and they know a little something. They believe that they're better than the rest of the brothers. They're better than everyone else. All right. Back to uh, Book of Sirach, chapter one, verse twenty. You know. Uh, verse 21, Sirach chapter 1, verse 21. The fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, 
it turneth away wrath okay you know it's brilliant to learn this truth you know to teach it all right but you don't want to fall into the you know i said i did this you know me me this me that spirit all right at the end of the day this is all about yahweh Bashem yahweh shai because ultimately you know he opened our minds to this truth we got it from him that's why he should remain humble all right again fearing the lord you know because he could have left us out there all right you know dead to this world you know he could take away the truth from any of us you know remove our candlestick again the fear of the lord driveth away sins and where it is present it turneth away wrath why because you understand what sin is first and foremost pursuant to first john chapter 3 verse 4 You understand also what the uh, what the righteous judgments of the Lord is. Okay, and it can be mysterious. It can be unexpected. You know, it's all in the hands of the Heavenly Father. You know, for example, you know, if you uh, you see something, you know, in a shop, something that you've always wanted, but you don't have the money for it. You know, you end up stealing it. it could be jewelry. It could be anything that you you, know, you desire. All right. You know, the next thing that comes to you is, you know, is the consequences of being arrested and being put in prison. All right, because you know that stealing is a sin. All right. Being part of the Ten Commandments. Now I get another precept. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 68, if I remember correctly. Verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto Yahweh the Lord belong the issues from death, right? So there's many ways the Lord can punish you. Alright, that's why you see, you know, two thirds in Babylon the Great, you know facing judgment severe judgments and harsh judgments right because they're not innocent you know if you don't have the fear of the lord you're subject to to anything you know speaking first and foremost for myself because i'm not exempt all right so if we go back to the book of Sirach. You know, and that's that's why you know we're in the, the year of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, turning up. That's right, so a judgment, you know, is taking place in you know, every day, constantly. You know. You know, and again, nobody is exempt from it men women children you know babies the elderly all right they're all subject to, to judgment you know if they dwell in their sin because the lord is no respect to a persons you know that's why it's imperative to have that you know that healthy fear of the lord and to be obedient to his words you know because that takes us you know a long way with yahweh where yahweh shy get another precept this is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high and if it begin if it first begin at us what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai right judgment must begin at the house of Israel okay you know you've got Israelites who know that the of course obviously who know that the Israelites you know teach teaching you know false doctrines all right twisting the scriptures 
All right, leading their congregation astray. Especially now that you know the MOTV is in your face, all in the news, and they're saying it's something spiritual. Oh, and also saying that you know Jacob's trouble hasn't, you know, it's not in the scriptures, or we've already passed through it. And that's damn lies. Iraq chapter 1 verse 20 the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord and the branches thereof are long life the fear of the Lord driveth away sins and where it is present it turneth away wrath okay so having that fear it turns you you know it drives sins away okay driveth away sins that's all up you know so I wanted to uh, just add on to that. So, you know, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edified. Again, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who grew well. Great Millstone, okay? So with that, Shabbat Shalom.